Now, EastEnders has had its fair share of villains over the years, but nasty Nick Cotton was in a league of his own. And the man behind that murderous character, John Altman, joins us now. Hello, John. It's great to see you. I mean, gosh, after all these years, the new characters, new storylines, but everyone still remembers Nasty Nick. Indeed. Good afternoon, Christine, Stacey, Jane and Kay. Hello. Hello, John. Yeah. Hi. I've come around when I was last on. It must be about two or three years, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, we must press on. We haven't got a lot of time, have we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Nasty yeah. Nick, I guess, as I say, after all these years, he was just such an iconic character. As much as you love it, it there were downsides, actually, to pl be playing the baddie all the time. Yeah, I had to kind of watch out where I went. And I was quite glad that I went into the soap at the age I did. If I'd been a teenager um, or, or in my early 20s, I probably would have found it quite hard to handle, and it has happened over the years. And um, so... I made sure that I didn't go to... I wasn't in the pub at closing time when people have had a few, to, a few too many to drink. I might think they want to, you know, knock out a, a TV hard man. So you know how it is. So generally, Aww. but generally, I mean, I've just, I was just laughing watching some of that, you know, because uh, Nick, uh, Nick had a quite a, The script was really good. Nick, despite being pretty evil, and he, he killed four... murdered four people by the end of his run at the, at the end, EastEnders, um, he was, uh, he had some funny lines, like, you know, if you wanted a date, Phil, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he should have asked. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So and I think I think he was quite funny as well. Very dry sense of humour. Yeah. We saw you there with the uh, the wonderful June Brown, who I think now is, what, 93? Are you still in touch? Indeed. Yeah. Oh, very much so. I'm, I'm in the uh, borough of Richmond. She's just up, up the way in near the Surrey Hills down there. Aww. And uh, so, yeah, I, I pop in there when I can. And... Um, yeah, she actually cooked me last year. She cooked me a steak and salad at the age of uh, 92. Bless her heart, you know. So she's uh, still going strong, uh, still, still, still smoking. Unfortunately, she tried to get me back on them. Actually, she said, "Oh, you're so, t oh, oh, you're so tense, John, since she gave up the cigarettes. Have another. Uh, yeah, you should go back on them." Yeah. John, <laughs> Luckily, would you go back? Would you go oh. back in East? Would you go back into EastEnders? Um, gosh, I mean, it, it, he, he has officially been killed off, but. I suppose well, there's always a way. That means nothing. Of sex, isn't there? Exactly. Yeah. Anything's Probably, possible. Uh, I, I, I think the British, great British public, would like that. I, I mean, Nick was voted best TV villain of all time by thousands of people last year. So I never quite understood why the BBC killed him off. But uh, yeah, I guess I would. Oh, yeah, wow. if it was a if it was a good a good stint, like twelve months, and mm. they'd probably cook up a good storyline. But who knows? John, eh? Who knows in the world of soap? John, you could always go into another soap. How about that? You know, if you've been killed off these enders, why not pop up on Coronation Street or Emmerdale? Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, and do you know what? I had that idea ages ago. I mean, if you saw the bill do a raid when the bill was on the telly, a raid on the Queen, but you know, I don't think the viewers would question it. Also, if Nick appeared, uh, crashed out, down and out in a barn up at Emmerdale, and then decided to try and mingle with the local uh, um, uh, punters. Um, yeah, we, we, I think it could work really well, but I'm, I don't think copyright-wise you could actually get other soap characters to move from soap to soap. But I think it, I think I think the viewing public would quite like it. Would that the ratings, wouldn't it? Yeah, too right, it would. Yeah. Now, John, I'm going to start calling you Johnny now because I want to talk about your music. Oh. And there's oh, two yeah, John Altman, so we have to now call you yeah. Johnny, don't we? Well, that's, that's my rock and roll persona because there's another John Altman who's also a friend of mine. And uh, unfortunately, we don't want the checks going to the wrong, pl wrong place when the PRS <laughs> comes. So I had to change it to Johnny. So it's, it's pretty rock and roll, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. But working yeah. on lots of new music, um, Johnny. And in terms, and it's sort of over over the past few months, you've been compiling it. But indeed, you've been writing some of these songs for many years. I have. Yeah, I've been. I'm, I could speak for about half an hour my history in rock and roll, which you can read in my uh, uh, or hear in my new Audible bi autobiography. Um, yeah, I taught myself to play drums and guitar over the years. Uh, I, thought, I, I toured Europe with a, a rock theatre group called Pip Simmons, playing the drums and guitar. Came back to London in the summer of punk, 1977, formed a band called The Hitmen. And trying to cut a long story short here, like the last uh, band I had, I was big band, I was in was the Heavy Metal Kids. And then um, I also worked with a great, you, you, should, you should have them on if you could actually, a great uh, all-girl rock band called Joan of Arc. I've been, I've been working with them. And the lead guitarist, Shelley, she put some tracks down on my new album. It's never too late to rock and roll. Well, you've got a ready-made and... all-girl rock band sitting here, John. I gather you're a big fan of the show. I am, indeed. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I'm my, should I say guilty pleasure? I was wondering, actually... <laughs> uh, well, Nothing we guilty. Going, I, I wonder how... 
<laughs> Not really, no. I, no. I just wondered how many um, how many men actually watch it, or, or but wouldn't admit to it, you know. But yeah, I, I love your show. I think it's great. So it's, it's a high point in the middle of the day. Yeah. Well, Friday on that Monday. note, I mean, what a way to wrap up a Friday show, oh, John. You, John. You're just great. Like we say, the, the new album, Never Too Late to Rock, rolls out on the 20th of uh, November. And the single, of right. course, Hallucinate New, is out right now. Thanks so much, John. It's great to see you. All the best. My pleasure. Lovely to see you. Bye. Okay, Bye. have a good weekend.